okay guys um this is exactly what i mean by head and shoulder pattern okay and how to trade it profitably now uh, it's actually playing out on um m1 and uh, and uh, on a uh, boom 300 which is a very volatile a very very volatile pair okay now this is what i always emphasize that your ability to spot the move of the market at any point in time would help you to take advantage of what the market is doing now this market may spike against me and may kick me out of the market but i just decided to i would have exited the trade now because i took a sniper entry now ideally you are told that it is at the now let me quickly draw something so that you understand what this is the first shoulder this is the first shoulder this is the head and this is the second shoulder and then ideally it is now that you are supposed to enter the trade it is at the break of this place that you are supposed to enter the trade but i took a sniper entry from here because although it was later i noticed his head and shoulder i first spotted it on four hours time frame okay but then i never knew it was also playing out on m1 and as you can see this was it a sniper entry that's why i say whenever you are able to spot what the market is doing that's when you're going to take advantage of it now ideally you're supposed to enter here okay at the break of this place but if you spot the work what market is doing early enough you can take a sniper entry just the way i did now at the uh second shoulder okay why the second shoulder is still ranging you can take a sniper entry and then you place your stop loss here take taking the risk so that if it kicks you if your stop loss is here you know that this head and shoulder has failed from the beginning but then if it works for you even before the break of this place that you're supposed to enter ideally you would have taken your profit so that even if you fail because because of the algorithm that drives forex sometimes it fails the classic pattern fails that is why i devise a means of spotting what market is doing early enough and then you take advantage of it now if you are taking a sniper entry from here even before it gets to this neckline which is supposed to be an ideal entry you would have exited the trade now this is a live trade this is a live account okay it's actually a live account but it's a very small account that i'm trying to grow okay so i'm not leveraging much on it look at it but then i don't know if you understand the point i'm trying to make here now this kind of formation does not occur all of the time it rarely occurs which is why i decided to make the video so that i will use it to teach you guys now i want to take it again i always say that your ability to spot what the market is doing early enough helps you to take advantage of what it is doing don't forget that i have always emphasized that you combine a lot of things to trade you don't use one signal or one technique you combine a lot of things to maximize your profit okay now this is classic head and shoulder pattern and i showed you this is the first shoulder this is the head and this is the second shoulder and i said that ideally this place that i placed the horizontal line is supposed to be your entry at the break of the two shoulders coming down like this this is supposed to be your entry okay this place is supposed to be your entry ideally but i said that because of the algorithm that drives uh price in forest market in most cases held and shoulder pattern fails double bottom double top fails other classic patterns like bullish flag bearish flag inverted head and uh, shoulder in many cases they fail and because they fail now you need to devise a means of trading them by taking sniper entry at the beginning of the move so if you had come to spot that the market is actually forming maybe you came to see that the market you came to meet the market maybe somewhere around here okay and then you look to your left you see this shoulder that this is a shoulder and then you're able to see that this is a head now 
wisdom and your knowledge in forest would have told you that this is actually a second shoulder okay and by that now especially if you had come to meet it somewhere here where the shoulder is not uh, completely formed it doesn't look like shoulder but with your eye of identification and knowledge you would have known that this is a second shoulder that is about forming i said why it is ranging here to make a complete formation of shoulder you would have taken a risky sniper entry then placing your stop loss above the high of the shoulder you, if you trace it down you discover this is also above the high of the first shoulder okay that would have been the risk you would have taken and then you take the risk place your stop loss there and then you ride the trade and your first take profit would be around this place where it's going to break the shoulder now if you look you trace it down you discover this is the low of the first shoulder and if you trace it down okay pardon i beg your pardon if you trace down you see that this is the low of the first shoulder and if you trace it down you discover that this is also the low of the second shoulder so now at the break of that low of the first and second shoulder especially when it's getting to this place you would have exited the trade then you wait for a break of this place and if you want to re-enter you have two options of either exiting the trade while you are waiting for the break of this place to enter in an ideal way or while the trade has come down you lock up the profits that you have made with stop loss so that even if it fails number one if you fail from here you will only encounter loss when your stop loss is hit here and then you know that this classic head and shoulder pattern has failed but if it doesn't fail at this point and it came down you will be in profit until around this point and then if you can if you want to lock your profit you can lock if you want to exit you exit while you are waiting for a break of this very region to take an ideal trade down but remember i said that in many cases it fails it doesn't go down because the algorithm goes in search of formations classic formations to stop them from forming completely that is the understanding you need to have so ideally you are supposed to enter here but with knowledge and understanding you are supposed to you take you can take a sniper entry and then you run down okay that's it now you can actually spot this uh, kind of pattern on any i mean you can trade any pattern on any time frame but it is better you trade according to the signal according to the time frame that is giving you the signal if you go to m5 now you discover that the signal is still there okay but it's more obvious on on uh, m1 uh, okay it's still there there's a kind of alignment look at the first shoulder look at the head look at the second shoulder look at my sniper entry and look at where the trade is right now okay look at where the trade is right now that is a sniper entry that is a sniper entry for head and shoulder pattern to me i would say that this head and shoulder pattern has not failed even though it spiked remember that the market will always spike to kick people out of the market and then we still go the way it's supposed to go now aside that even if this market tries to go against me now i've locked up my profit that's exactly what i'm talking about I've locked up my profit. Look at it. It cannot put me into loss. Again, even if it, if it spikes and then my stop loss is hit, it cannot put me into loss. Remember, I have exceeded. Look at it. The second shoulder has formed. And then I entered here. And look at it here. I'm already in profit. And that's why I was able to lock it up like this. Now, even if it spikes now, okay, and my stop loss is hit, okay. Now I will still be left with profit of about, of about three to four dollars on this account. Now on this profit that is made already, look at the profit made already. If you spike and my spot stop loss is hit, okay, the profit ratio there now is already. Let me quickly show you. Now is already is already two. I mean one is to one. Even if my stop loss is hit, now it's already one is to one. Okay, and that's what I mean by taking sniper entry and understanding what the market is doing early enough okay now and um, aside that there are also other combinations here now now i look there is a trend line that is being respected 
there's a trend line that is being respected if you look very that's why i was able to draw this that's why i say you combine a whole lot of things to trade okay is this packing against me but i don't mind okay remember i say even if my stop loss is hit now i can never be in loss on this trade i would have exited the trade but because i needed to use it to record and to show you guys how and exactly what i mean okay now the stop loss is actually too tight because uh i'm looking at it that this trend line will be respected this market will certainly come down at least up to retesting this trend line down okay but because i am recording and i want to make it snappy to teach you this that's why i'm going this way now if you go to h4 you discover that you know there is something that is close to a head and shoulder pattern that is being developed okay but it's not so obvious now if this is the case okay if you look very well you see that you, although it's not obvious but with your eye of understanding of forex you could also spot that this is something like a shoulder and then this is something like a head this is something like a second shoulder okay now if this trade goes my way it is still a sniper entry on four hour time frame okay that's exactly what we're talking about now even if it will fail now this is supposed to be the low of the second shoulder if you trace down you see that this is the low of the first shoulder so this place is supposed to be the low of the second shoulder that's why i place my tp there now if it goes in my way this trade alone can make me up to between 40 to 60 dollars okay i'm telling you the truth on this account remember this is boom one uh, 300 very volatile and that's why i'm using 0 0.1 you can place 0 0.1 directly without having to close partially okay on boom 300 and crash 300 so that's exactly what i wanted to show you guys and as a classic pattern ways of trading different highly profitable classic pattern can't you see it's obvious it's very obvious first shoulder the head second shoulder and then it's coming down so that's just it as one of the classic pattern that i would have to cover and since it rarely appears i decided to make this video so learn from it listen to whatever i said over and over again and learn from the approach and then you are good to go all right but don't also forget that i said um, you know this classic pattern not just this every other classic pattern they hardly form they take time to form some of these classic pattern take days some take weeks some take months to form okay and that's why you should always train your eyes search for them search for those highly profitable ones and then whenever you spot them you can you have many ways of trading them and i've shown you two ways you can trade this very one now okay take the risk don't be afraid of uh, failing or losing if he loses you know that it is a failed trial and then you take it that way but don't over leverage use proper risk and money management okay so that even if it goes against you you will have uh you know your capital protected okay that is basic that is one thing you should know okay not over leverage and then don't open multiple positions don't trade recklessly and carelessly okay always have it in mind that there will always be opportunity if this one fell another one that may go your way will come okay so that's how we roll that's how we trade and um, please take note of all this the last emphasis here is that you can always trade this uh, pattern or any other pattern you can spot it on any time frame but uh, take note also that the ones that develop on higher time frame is reliable more reliable than the ones developed on lower time frame that is another thing you should take note of any classic pattern or approach that the signal is coming from higher time frame is more reliable that's why i always emphasize that you should know what the market is doing from higher time frame because that will help you and give you informed decision as to the direction the uh, movement the development that the market may likely go in the long run so take note of all this <laughs>